Hi everybody and we are back with part 2. Gabby is continuing her painting and I am going on to prompt number 17, pastel. Gabby, what are you doing with the toothbrush? What did you just do with the toothbrush? I was using the toothbrush to do like a star decoration. Right, so little sprinkles. Yeah. Nice. What color you used? I used white and I think yellow. Nice. Yellow and white mixed together and white. Cool, cool, cool. And what are you doing now? Uh, I'm doing the mountains. Oh, very nice. So they're black? Mm-hmm. Very cool. And on my side, on the right, I'm putting on a background. I was searching through my colors to see if I had any kind of pastel colors. So I kind of did. I found the pink and the blue. And I think that's yellow. I'm using... Um... Okay, so what happened is my phone stopped recording and I didn't know. So I did some texture paste with the reinforcement holes and I also outlined some of the paint shapes with a ballpoint pen. And Gabby, I noticed that your bottom piece filled in with some dark blue and now you're doing some green. So all of that got cut out. I'm really sorry about that. But we have to catch up now. So what's that bottom blue part? What's that? Nasty water. Oh nice, the ocean. And Super cool. The green mm -hmm. is like the reflection or the light bouncing on the water from all those lights on the mountain where people live in. Nice. I've never done a painting like that. That's super cool. And that's very brave of you to try it. First time. Woohoo! And what am I doing? I am drawing out some flowers that I want to put on the page. I had no idea what kind of flowers to do. It was pastel. I didn't know, you know, I really didn't know what to do. And I didn't want to leave the page like that. So the, actually the texture paste that I used, I actually mixed it with my glue, uh, paint and powder. But I also used um, baking soda. So it was actually quite rough. It wasn't smooth at all like the other one that I did. Quite, quite rough and I like it very much. now I'm filling in my drawing, my flowers, with pink, because it's pastel. <laughs> Gabby, I see you're using a nice big fan brush. I don't even think I ever used that. Yeah, that's to do the light also, to reflect from all the, you know, the mountain. Right. Was it easy to use the brush? Yeah, a bit. Did you like using it? Because mm -hmm. I've never used it, so. Yeah, I like using it. That's so cool. Oh, I think I did use it, you know, but to do sprinkles. So I just tap it and sprinkle and that was it. <laughs> I didn't actually paint with it, you know. So that's awesome. You have one up under there. Pretty cool. And I'm filling in my flowers and my stems. I'm using the green and I'm kind of liking it, not kind of ish, but I'm going with the flow. You're putting in some brown now, some orange it looks like. Yeah. What okay. was that? To help it be more elastic. Oh, nice. At this point, were you enjoying your painting? Mm, no. Why not? I probably don't look exactly how that looked in the video I watched. Oh, you're putting some more sprinkles. You're taking some of my pink! Ah! <laughs> 
and you're putting some sprinkles very cool though that's a nice idea you know because people usually just put white or yellow so it's nice to have some nice pink in the sky that's a nice idea did she did the person use pink mm -mm. no see you're so creative good job gabby but you know um people their painting doesn't come out exactly like another person's and that's okay and remember this is your first time so that's you did pretty well i think you did pretty well the only thing uh for me is that i didn't realize till after is that i would have told you to do it landscape instead of portrait so i would have told you to turn your book sideways if i had known from before what you were doing you would have had more space in that way so next time don't worry that's cool and remember it was a surprise so and it's a nice surprise i love it i love it very much and i think i'm almost done on my side i'm just i'm putting a border yeah, I think I'm almost done. I think, Gabby, you look like you're done. Uh, yeah. Yes, here's Gabby's beautiful painting. Her first effort, which I think is pretty cool. Unassisted, which is awesome, because I was not paying attention. I was doing my own thing on my side. And here is what she did, what she was supposed to do. So you see how this is wider than yours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the end was landscape. Oh, yes, and I see the reflection that you were trying to get mm -hmm. in the middle there. That's cool. I mean, it's your first attempt. So you learn. And next time, you'll do a little better. Keep practicing and you'll get better and better. Good job, honey. First time, I'm proud of you. Look at all that beautiful detail. Deliciousness. Love it. I know you don't love it, but... I like it. You like it? Uh, yes, I don't love it. I like it. I love oh, it. okay. Very good. Very, very good. So for me, I am... I. A couple days passed and I, I really did not like how the flowers came out. So I just decided to add to it. And this is me editing my flowers. And I hope you all enjoy the process of the addition that I did. all right so i'm basically done i'm just you know touching up but i mean if you don't like what you do you could add to it you could paint it all white and start over it's your work and i prefer this piece i love this one so much better i'm pleased and gabby likes it too apparently yes yes it's much better <laughs> so thank you so much for thank you for joining us yeah. and we really appreciate that you took the time out to watch both part one and two. So thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.